What's up, Michael here, back with another Webflow tutorial. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can, with just a few lines of custom JavaScript, help your customers feel more seen and more heard by simply returning their name back to them in a success message when they fill out a form on your website. This is very easy to do. I'm gonna have links in the description where you can grab this code and you can just copy and paste. But without any further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so before we jump in, let's quick see how this works. So this is just a native Webflow form and a native page, except for the few lines of JavaScript connecting everything together. But I'm gonna go fill out my name, and then I'm gonna fill out my email, normal form stuff. When I click on submit, it's gonna say, thank you, Michael. Now, just so you know, I did not hard code my name into this. I'm gonna go and repeat, and I'm gonna add a different name and a different email. When I click on submit, it's gonna say, thank you, Jane. This is gonna literally return back whatever name they put in this text box. So let's see how we did this. So you want to go into your Webflow designer and add two things. You wanna add a heading element and a form block element. If you, do not, if you do not know what those are, in your ad panel, you can drop in a heading under the typography section. And then down under the form section, you can just drop in a form block. Now I chose to do a heading. You could actually do whatever you want. You can do a text block or a paragraph. But for this example, I'm just gonna stick to a heading. Once you have these two elements on the page, we need to simply add three IDs to three of these elements. So we first want to click on the heading element, go over in the settings panel over on the right. And then up near the top, it says ID. D. We want to give the heading element an ID of heading. Pretty simple, right? And then in the name field, we want to give it an ID of name. And then last but not least, we want to click on the submit button and give it an ID of button. Now it's very important that you remember the IDs that you're giving these elements because we're going to be using these IDs to reference these elements in the code. Now to add the custom JavaScript, we simply go to our pages whatever page you're adding this form to, you wanna add the code to that page. Right now I'm doing it on the home page, so I'm gonna add the code to the home page. We then want to scroll all the way down to our body tag and we wanna add this code. Like I said, the code for this tutorial is gonna be in a link in the description, so you can just copy and paste. So first, how does this code work? Let's quickly go over that. So we first start with these two variables and this first variable is um, setting, is referencing the button and applying it to a submit button variable. The second one is getting the name element. So it's getting that element by the ID that we set, the name ID, and it's assigning it to the variable user name. And then down here, we're gonna take that submit button variable that we just created and we're gonna add an event listener for a click. So this is basically in the background gonna be listening for when that button is clicked because once it's clicked, it's going to run this function. And what this function basically does is it inserts some new text into the heading element that we just placed on the page. And it's actually gonna insert this text right here. Basically it's just thank you, comma, username dot value exclamation point. You can make this success message, say whatever you want. You just want to make sure you're leaving this line of code so that it can reference the name. If that's not in there, it will not reference the user's name. You also wanna make sure that your success message always stays inside these two little ticks on the end. That is what makes this whole thing work as well. With that little bit of code added, we can click on save, and then we're gonna go and publish the site. Okay, so with the site published, we're gonna go to our website and we're gonna refresh. And it's gonna present us with our form we just added, normal normal looking form, and we're gonna add in our name. We're gonna add in our email and we're gonna click on submit. And if it worked correctly, it should say, thank you, Michael Groff. So it is working perfectly. Now, every, like it is a lot of times with custom code, if yours doesn't work, it might be because you accidentally pasted it wrong or there's a typo. I'm actually gonna show you an expert trick you can use to see what is causing the error. So if you clicked on submit and you did not see your name come back, simply right click on the page and click on inspect. And then we want to go to console. 
and this is going to log out any errors that may happen. So for example, I'm going to go back here and I'm going to purposely make an error. I am going to, let's see, I'm going to remove this little parentheses right here. I'm going to click on save. I'm going to publish it live again. With that publish live, I'm going to go refresh the page and you're going to see it says uncaught syntax error, missing parentheses after argument list at, and it's going to show you the exact line where the, where the error was caught. You're also going to see if I go to try to submit this, it's not going to work. It's just going to say get started. So the whole thing is broken because of that little parentheses issue. So basically, if you're having any errors, just come to this console and it should tell you what's wrong. So we got to go back and make sure we fix this. Just add the parentheses, click on save, and we'll publish it live. So I hope that was helpful. If it was, feel free to drop a like or hit subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Also, I'm a Webflow developer and a Webflow consultant. So if you do need help with those things, there'll be links in the description where you can go book a call with me. But anyway, I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one.